I would not short the U.S. economy. I will revert to Warren Buffett, who has often said anybody who shorts the U.S. economy or believes it not to be coming back in a more resilient fashion, we have a technological boom going on. We will see more automation if we run short of workers. That will ultimately alter the landscape and, and be disinflationary as well. If we start replacing individuals with productivity enhancing technologies, that ultimately brings down costs, but that also takes some time. We are seeing a boom in capital spending right now, and you're seeing places like quick service restaurants automate very quickly. You're seeing a whole host of things changing, but it will take some time to right these situations. But in the longer run, when you look at the rest of the world, the US economy in both absolute and relative terms looks better than the rest of the world. China is slowing, may even be contracting because we don't know what the real numbers are. Europe is behind us with respect to recovery, and the United States has a much higher growth potential, assuming again we address some of these other structural issues, than much of the rest of the world. So the U.S. is still a good bet. And, I, and as my friend Art Cashin on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange has often said, betting on the end of the world is also a fool's errand. Because number one, it only happens once. If you make the bet, you have to be right on timing. And if it does happen, you don't get paid anyway. So it's a losing bet all the way around. Now